Hello, welcome to the video on solving multi-step equations. This is our second example set, example set B, and hopefully you had a chance to watch the lesson and practice the problems in the previous example set. And essentially what we're going to be doing is more of the same. Okay, so we're going to tackle these multi-step uh, equation problems by using the general guidelines that we learned in the lesson. Okay, so the first thing we do is we look for situations where we can use the distributive property. Okay, so I either if where there are parentheses with a number outside of them, as we have right here and right here, that's the first thing we need to do in these equations. So go ahead and if you haven't done this already, you should go ahead and actually uh, practice the distributive property by applying it to these uh, parts of the equation. So right here, you're going to get negative four times three. And that's going to be negative 12. And now we have negative 4 times this negative x. Okay, So let's go ahead and have you write that down if you haven't tried. Because this is really important to check your understanding uh, with the distributive property. A lot of students have trouble with multi-step equations because they have trouble with the distributive property. Okay, So this is going to be a positive 4x. All right, So if you didn't understand that, you know, you got to go back and review the distributive property. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the right-hand side. We have 11 times 4x, so that's going to be 44x. And now we have 11 times this negative 3, so that's going to be minus 33. Okay, so if you're okay with the distributive property, then that's excellent. So now the second step is to combine like terms on the left and right-hand side of the equation. So we don't have any like terms over here, and we have no like terms on the right-hand side of the equation. So what we're going to do now is move our variable terms to the left. So we're going to move this 44x over here. And then we're also going to move our numbers to the right-hand side of the equation. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's start with the variable term first. So I'm going to subtract 44. And let me get rid of these colors here. I just don't want to have too many things going on. Okay, that's good. All right, so let's go ahead and move that 44x over to the left-hand side. So we're going to subtract 44x from both sides of the equation. Okay, and you know, it takes time to do these equations because you, you know, you're always rewriting things and you're being neat. Okay, so don't sacrifice not showing your work for time. Okay, so if you want to rush through it, because all you're going to do, you're probably going to get it wrong because there's just too many things to keep track of if you don't write them out and see what's going on. Okay, so now we're going to get negative 12, okay, we're adding down now, okay, plus this is going to be a negative 40x equals, okay, right here, our 44x's on this side go away, so it leaves us with a negative 33. Okay, so let's just double check our work. What we did was use the distributive property. Negative 4 times 3 is negative 12. Negative 4 times negative x, positive 4x. 11 times 4x, 44x. 11 times this, negative 3, negative 33. Now we're moving our variable terms over to the left. So we're subtracting 44x from both sides of the equation. And I get 4x uh, plus a negative 44x is negative 40x. OK. So now we've got our variables over to the left. Now let's focus in now on our number here and move that over to the right. So I'm going to add a 12 to both sides of the equation. Okay, so go ahead and actually rewrite that equation if you haven't done so already. So this is going to be, this would be negative 40x equals, now right here we have negative 33 plus 12, so that would be a negative 21, okay? So just be careful with working with these positive negative numbers. You don't want to go so fast where you make a mistake with uh, one of the signs here, okay? All right, so at this point in time, we moved all our variable turns to the left, all of our numbers to the right-hand side. So now we're left with a basic one-step equation. So to solve this, all I have to do is divide both sides of the equation by negative 40. So x would be equal to negative 21 over 40, uh, negative 21 over negative 40, or simply 21 over 40. I'll go ahead and leave my answer like that. Okay. All right. So let's move on 
to our next equation here. Okay, so the first step is distributive property situation if we have it, and of course we have it right here because we have those parentheses surrounding a summer difference. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and distribute this one half to this 8n, and one half times 8n is going to be 4n minus one half times 2, and that's going to be 1. Okay, so that's going to be equal to 16 minus 30n. All right, so there's no like terms to combine on either side of the equation. So I'm going to go ahead and move my variable term over to the left-hand side. So I'm going to add 30n here. And I'm going to add a 30n over here. So that's going to give me 34n minus 1 equals 16. Okay. So hopefully you're with me. You can see how I'm showing uh, my work. Now, another thing about showing your work is that, let's say... You just uh, you walked away from the video and you came back and you're seeing what's going on. You could actually pause the video and read what's going on. You should be able to read someone's work like a story. Okay, like hey, here's what the person did. Okay, this is what they did next. Okay, and you know why they're doing it. That's the key to showing your work, and that's what you want to strive for. But if you model how I'm doing it, you'll be just fine. All right, so now we got our variables all over to the left. Now we got to get all the numbers all over to the right. So I got to take care of this negative one. So I got to add one to both sides of the equation. And I get 34n equals 17. Okay, so now I got a basic one step equation. So to solve uh, for n, I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides of the equation by 34. So I get n equals 17 over 34. And if I'm not mistaken, that is one half. Okay, let's see here, 34 divided by 17 is in fact 2. Okay, so always make sure if you have um, fractions as your answer, make sure that they're fully simplified, fully reduced. All right, let's go ahead and tackle our last problem. So once again, uh, we have a distributive property situation here and right here. Okay, and we've got some fractions involved, so we're going to have to be really careful when we do this. So this is going to be 6 times 3, half, three halves x. So when you do this, this is going to be 2 goes into 6, 3. This will be 9x. All right. Now, if you need to do some work and figure out what 6 times 3 halves is when you're doing this, don't do that work right in the middle of where you're going to be showing all your steps. Do that off to the side or on a separate piece of scratch paper. Okay. But all of you, hopefully, got this to be 9. Okay, If you didn't get 9x, then you know chances are you probably maybe made a mistake uh, with your fractions. Okay, So this is going to be 9x. 6 times 3 halves x is 9x, plus 6 times 1 is 6. And that's going to be equal to negative 9 times 1 third, which is going to be a negative 3x. And I got this negative 9 times this negative 2. That's going to be a positive 18. Okay, so looking to combine life terms on the left and right hand side, there's nothing to do. So once again, I'm going to move my variables over to the left hand side. So I'm going to add 3x here and add 3x here. So this gives me, let's see here, 12, whoops, go ahead and write this right here. 12x plus 6 equals 18. Now, just another comment. Um, you know, it's nice and easy for me to erase because I'm using, you know, a computer to erase things. But if, you know, for you, you need to be using pencil. So if you're not using pencil, you're using pen, then you're making a big uh, mistake, okay? Because you're, you know, I have to erase and move things around. I'm certainly um, positive that you're going to have to do that also from time to time. So pencil and uh, eraser and paper, okay? Don't work in pen because that way, you know, unless you're absolutely perfect 100% of the time, and no one is, you're going to have to scribble out um, your mistakes. You don't want to do that. Okay, so let's see here. We had 9x plus 3x. That's 12x plus 6. Our, threes went, our 3x's went away over here and left with 18. So now I'm going to move my numbers all over to the right-hand side. So I'm going to subtract 6 on both sides of the equation. And I get 12x is equal to 12. And how nice is that? 12x is equal to 12. So 
to solve that equation, just divide both sides of the equation by 12, and I get x equals 1. So for all of our effort, we just get this nice little solution, x equals 1. Boy, <laughs> sometimes you feel like, well, that was it. That's all you get. But, uh, you know, sometimes that's what the answer is. It's a nice, easy 1. Okay, so if you're understanding everything and you're doing well and you actually did all these problems and got them right, then, you know, that's, that's excellent. Okay, that really shows that you're mastering this. Um, you know, of course, if you're if you're um, making a little error here and there, you know, focus in on it, try to correct it, and move forward. Okay, so keep working hard. We'll see you soon.